No, no, too much. Too much. Fifi Claro's album Opposites, pictured here, is very good. I like it. That's the inside. Trees. And discs. So everything you need for a CD to be good. Since Biffy Clara's previous album, Only Revolutions, they have rocketed into mainstream success, which is really good. I want to go, well done guys, I'm so proud of you. But a lot of people have been worrying about it, including me a little bit, because when I heard that their new album was called Opposites, I thought, Oppo it's called Opposites, that sounds a bit, a bit boring. But when you hear the songs, the name Opposites doesn't seem boring. It seems perfectly fitting in what the album is, an opposite of emotions from being quite sad in the first one, the sand of the core our bones, and the second one being a bit more optimistic and upbeat. The land at the end of the land at the the land at the should have done my research. I don't even know what it's called. What's it called? I'm gonna get my only negative point out of the way at the start and say that perhaps the song titles aren't as original as their previous albums. I really like adventurous storytelling titles that lead you into a narrative of their own, a separate creative piece to the song. Um, and they are just quite similar, you know, the song's called Modern Magic Formula and then the song they talk about a magic formula. A song's called Little Hospitals and they talk about Little Hospitals and that's my only negative. But that's balanced by Simon Neal himself saying that they wanted to create an album that could follow people through their lives as a story, one that they could always revisit. In a music world at the minute of selling quick singles, trying to get your music out as quick as possible, Biffy Clyro, if they'd given in to the mainstream success that people were worried that they would give in to, they would have just released the songs as quick singles, but they didn't. They worked on a double album and my negative point that the song titles aren't as original sort of has to be there if they want to be remembered because if they are storytelling songs that are going to stick with you a long exaggerated title isn't going to be as quick and easy to remember. The songs are a lot more anthemic than their usual stuff and they're very suitable to their big stadium tours. I'm seeing them next month as well which should be good and also the fact that they are shorter with the song titles being shorter goes hand in hand with the point that they want to make an album which can act as a companion to somebody throughout their whole life and I think I'll go back to that when I'm older and go that was a good album Good, good, good. People worry about there being an old Biffy Clyro and a new Biffy Clyro. And if there was ever a doubt of there being a new Biffy Clyro and an old Biffy Clyro, Biffy Clyro's album Opposites is the album that old Biffy Clyro would listen to to get inspired. That's it. Bye. Don't kiss or blow. That's weird. Is this too white?